Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about taking your break. Mamas, I cannot stress this enough. I literally can't say it enough. Remember when you didn't have kids and you would stroll through Target or paint on a Friday night. Do you remember that? Do you remember when you would actually take time for yourself? The chances of you saying yes are so slim. And honestly, I hope that when you hear that you're like, I take my break. Good. But for all the mamas who don't, Listen to me, you have to, you have to take care of you and put yourself first before you start taking care of everyone else. You need a break. You need to remember who you were before you had kids. Remember what you used to like to do. And if you forget, if you are literally listening, listening to me talk and saying, what do I like? What do I enjoy? Not what does my husband like? Not what do my kids like? What do you like? What makes you happy? What makes you feel rested? Is that a trip to Target? Is it a trip to the park to walk by yourself? Is it painting a picture? Is it going outside and sitting in silence? Is it drinking a glass of wine? Is it watching the news in silence every morning? What is it? You need to find yourself. You can't keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and taking care of everyone above yourself. You need, you need a break. And all the moms out there who are like, I don't need a break. My kids need me. Yeah, but they also need a mom who is relaxed, who knows who she is, who actually can give 100% every single day. Now, am I saying that by taking a break, you will automatically be giving 100% every day? Maybe, maybe not that is on you. But what I do know is that you cannot keep pushing yourself to the breaking point. By the time you feel overwhelmed and stressed out, it's too late. Stop waiting until you feel that way to decide, okay, now I'll take a break because I'm about to have a mental breakdown. Stop. Stop waiting until that time. We think because we are moms, we can do it all. We can, we can live this life 100% by ourselves. We don't need anyone else to give us a break. We don't need to do anything for ourselves because now it's our kids. Kids this, kids that, kids this. Husband that, dishes this, dishes that. I need to do laundry, so this is what I gotta do. If you are not taking a break, and I don't mean a six hour break, I don't mean an hour break, I mean take the time, whatever time that it is that you need, that is what you need to do. So I'll give you an example. So I typically wake up every single day at 5.45 my alarm goes off because I know that my kids typically wake up between seven and eight o'clock. And I want that break to sit in silence, drink my coffee, start my day on a positive note. Now, That also means that I put my kids to bed 
at the same time every single day. It doesn't matter if it's a special day or a holiday. We have a schedule and for my own sanity, I need to stick to it. So if that means to you, mama, that you need to put your kids to bed 30 minutes earlier because you need a break, don't apologize. Do it. You need to be happy. You need to be relaxed. You need to have a clear mindset. If you are waking up and rushing this, rushing that, I need to get here. I need to get to work. Whoa. I know you're tired. I know you are tired, but that does not mean you need to stop taking care of yourself. Go to sleep earlier. Wake up earlier to when you are in silence, to when you're in your happy place. When your husband gets home from work or you get home from work, you need to be able to say, okay, I am going to go run to Target or I'm going to go to the grocery store by myself or I'm going to go take a walk around the block. You need to take care of yourself. Stop thinking it's selfish because you are doing something for yourself. It's not. You deserve a break. And I don't care if your husband worked all day and says, you don't need a break, I need a break. Get on the same page, people. Get on the same page. You need to have that conversation about self-care because if he's not aware of what you are feeling or you decide that, well, maybe he's right. He's not right. He just isn't aware of what is going on in your mind and what you need to do to get back to that place. So stop thinking because, well, he told me I don't need a break. What? Maybe he doesn't know or maybe he does and he doesn't care. That is a conversation you need to have immediately. You need to take care of yourself. You need to have that self-care, that self-time to get back to 100%. And I need you to stop thinking that you don't because of whatever social media tells us that we can't do this without being a bad mom. We can't do this without putting our kids first. You put your kids first. No one is going to take that away from you. And if they do, their opinion is none of your business. You need to take care of yourself. You have to take care and put the time in. And remember who you were and who you want to be every single day. You can't keep pushing and pushing and wearing yourself down because you think that that is what a strong mom does. No. Strong moms take care of themselves. Strong moms take that break of when they are in silence, where they put their kids to bed early. You are a strong mama, but you cannot keep breaking yourself down to the point of where you snap to the point of where you are so physically, utterly, mentally exhausted that you then decide, okay, maybe I do need a break. Stop letting it get to that point. You need to practice self-care every single day of your life. Not for me, not for your husband, not for your kids, for you, because it matters. When you are so exhausted, and you're like, oh my God, do I really have to do this again tomorrow? I am so broken. I am so this. Stop letting it get there. I don't want you to feel that way anymore. I want you to wake up at a time that suits your life before everything starts happening to where you can get that break. I want you to stop thinking that because you stay at home or because you already worked all day, oh, my kids need me. They do need you. 
but they also need a healthy parent. They need someone who is relaxed, who can listen to their 8 million stories, who can listen to them ask to go potty even when they don't have to. You need to take a break. You need to find out what it is you like to do. If you don't remember, find yourself again. You do not deserve to keep living in this in this lie that you don't deserve a break because now you have kids. If anything, you deserve a break more. Stop thinking that you don't need to do something for yourself because someone else told you that. Because social media says that I don't need a break because I'm a mom now and I can do it all. Girl, I know you can do it all, but that doesn't mean you stop taking care of you. Just because you have kids, it doesn't mean you stop taking care of yourself. You stop doing the things you like, whatever. Stop listening to all of that outside noise and start realizing that you need a break. You need to take care of yourself. You need to be in that healthy mindset every single day. So again, if that means your husband gets home from work or you get home from work and you're like, you know what, today my break is going to be going to the dollar store. My break is going to be going to the park by myself, listening to the sounds of nature, whatever, do it. Stop pushing yourself. You need to take a break. And there are moms out there who are like, I don't need a break. My kids are so special. My kids need me 100% of the day. Okay. Your kids will still love you if you take a break. I don't know how to say this without maybe hurting someone's feelings, but the idea that you think you are the only one who can take care of your children. It is bogus. Now, am I saying that someone can take care of your kids better than you? No, that is not what I'm saying. Do not misinterpret me. I am saying that there are people out there who love your children just as much as you do. Obviously, it is not the same love. You gave birth to them. You are there for them 100% of the time. You are their comfort. What I am saying is stop thinking that you are the only one who cares for your kids. Stop thinking that because you ask your mother-in-law to watch your kids one Saturday so you can go window shop, that you are selfish. There are people out there who love your kids and will take care of your kids while you take care of yourself you need to and again there will be people out there who are like what are you talking about I cannot leave my kids I am the mother I am this I am that I am strong you are strong and I am so proud of you but that does not mean you don't take care of yourself just because you have children does not mean you have to stop taking care of you. I don't know why in people's minds they think that. They think that because they've had kids that they now have to put themselves on the back burner. I get it. I get it. But you have to take care of yourself. Whether that means Again, you wake up early, you drink that cup of coffee in silence, or you put your kids to bed early so you can sit down and drink a glass of wine. Whatever it is, you need to stop thinking that you're a bad mom because you need a break. I am telling you, 
that you are just taking care of you and doing what you need to do to take care of them in the healthiest, most positive way ever, you are not, you are not a magician. You can't pull something from an empty hat. You give 100% every single day to your boss, to your kids, to your husband. What about you? What about you? Stop thinking you're not important because you have children. You matter and your happiness, your peace of mind, it matters. So stop, ugh, stop thinking that it doesn't. You have to be able to say, I am going to take my break and I'm going to take one every single day. And on Friday, I'm gonna go run to the mall or I'm gonna go run at the park or I'm gonna go run around the block or I'm gonna do yoga in the basement. Can you please make sure the kids don't come down there? Stop thinking you don't deserve a break. Stop thinking it's selfish. Stop thinking that because you are taking 10 minutes out of your day to do something for yourself, that it doesn't mean you, you hate your kids or you don't love them. You love your kids. I know you do. You are strong. You love them. You give them everything every single day but you have to take care of yourself. You have to practice self-care every single day of your existence. Because the minute that you stop doing that, the minute that you're like, eh, I'm not gonna take a break today, and then the next day, your kids are constantly pulling on you, tugging on you, Mom this, mom that, mom this, mom I want this, mom I want that. Crying, screaming, whatever, fighting. You will wish that you took those 10 minutes to get to that place in your mind where you can deal with them in a positive manner. Now I'm not saying that discipline is a positive thing, but if you aren't taking that time for yourself, to get back to 100%, you may not be dealing with them in the way that you want to, which is only going to reverse everything that you wanted. You have to stop thinking all of that negative, all of that social media driven, whatever. You have to take a break for yourself. You need to find out who you are and start doing what you love again. I can't stress that enough. It is so important to take care of yourself, so important to get that time away Get that silence, get whatever every single day. Stop thinking that it's not important because you have children. You are just as important as they are. Your mental health, your happiness. Start focusing on you. Start taking that time, start taking that break. Do the things you love that you forgot you loved. Stop thinking that you don't deserve it. You do. All right, guys, that is it for today. I hope you are taking your break, and I hope you are practicing self-care. It is Friday. Easter is on Sunday. I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend.